Hey everybody, welcome back to Life Rocks. So I have placed my very first online grocery order and I am about to go pick it up. So we'll see how everything looks. I'm hoping that the produce and stuff that I ordered is all gonna be a pretty good selection. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna end up with a bag full of wilted, nasty veggies. Um, so we will head on over to the pickup spot and pick it up and then we will head home and unbag it and take a look at everything that I got. I ordered from Kroger so I think they call it their click list. Um, I've tried to order online multiple times and every time I try the scrolling through all of the products and all of the departments really gets my head rocking. Um, so I've given up every time that I've ever tried to place an order, but this time I knew that I just wanted a few things to make a specific meal, so it was a little bit easier to do a search when I knew exactly what items I wanted rather than scrolling through all the departments. Alright, so we pulled up to the Clickless parking space. There's a phone number listed on a sign in front of the parking space. It looks like there's eight different spaces here. Each of them have a number. And you call the phone number, you give them your first and last name that your order's under, they ask you which parking space you're in, and then let you know that they will be right out in just a minute. So they bring your groceries right out to you. You don't even have to go into the store and pay. I paid for it all online before I came to get it. So, we'll see how quickly the order gets brought out. I just let them know I was here just a few minutes ago. So, how does this video relate to the channel Life Rocks or to living with Malde Debarkment Syndrome? Um, when you have Malde Debarkment Syndrome, grocery shopping is one of the very toughest things for us. Something about the sounds in there, the fluorescent lighting, the going up and down all of the aisles. Oh, looks like my groceries are coming out right now. Well, that was super quick and convenient. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, living with multi debarkment syndrome, it's kind of difficult to do grocery shopping because all of the stuff going in there kind of um, our sensory system is a little bit sensitive, so it, sh it just puts us into sensory overload and makes us feel really um, kind of disoriented and like we're rocking really hard and it makes our sensitive spike. So having an opportunity to come get my groceries without having to go into the grocery store to do my grocery shopping and spike my symptoms. Um, could be kind of life-changing for somebody like me or anybody who suffers from an illness that makes it difficult to go into an environment like a grocery store. All right guys, we're back at home and I'm gonna go through all of the groceries that I just picked up at Kroger through my click list shopping, which means I did not have to go into the store and actually do any shopping. I did it all online. I pulled into a parking spot and waited for somebody to bring my groceries out to me. Um, so you'll notice my shirt, it says don't open, dead inside. Somehow I always end up wearing this shirt when I look dead on the outside too. But we're just gonna ignore that because the beauty of this video was I didn't have to make myself look presentable today because I didn't have to actually go into a store. I just sat in my car. So I ordered some of the basic staples. Um, you know, they had Coca-Cola products on special three for five. So these I wasn't really worried about. Um, it was the things like the produce and the meat and all that stuff that I was a little bit iffy about um, when it came to having somebody else pick out my groceries. So we'll just go through the staples really quickly. Got some cereal. They had their half gallons of milk on special for 99 cents, so it was cheaper for me to get two of these than to get one full gallon. I'm not a huge milk drinker, but my boyfriend is. So we keep the milk in the house for him. We got our hamburger buns, we got our bread. Everything was bagged nicely so that it wasn't crushed. My bread was kept separate. Um, I did order some frozen vegetables. I'm usually more of a fan of fresh vegetables. But living with MDDS, sometimes I'm noticing that 
Hey, I might need some veggies to put together a quick meal, and I'm really not feeling up to going grocery shopping before I put together this meal. So I've realized that there are some staples that I maybe need to keep around my house, um, although it's not my top choice to go with frozen vegetables. I think it'll make cooking a little bit easier on me when I'm having a high symptom day. So I ordered some frozen veggies that they had on special one bag for a dollar. Um, they put them all into this paper bag for me so that they stayed cold and frozen while I picked them up. So we've got some green peas, we've got some chopped onions, we've got some chopped spinach, we've got some green beans. My boyfriend has been begging me for a couple days now to make a stew for him, so that's what I'm planning on doing tonight, making a stew. We've got some beef stock, some petite diced tomatoes. Now we're moving into the stuff that I was a little bit nervous about ordering. So, potatoes are usually not that difficult to pick out. I ordered three rusted potatoes, and they actually look like they're all pretty good quality. I don't see any like nasty um, brown spots, no big eyes or roots or anything growing out of them. So they did a good job picking out my potatoes. Um, I ordered a bag of carrots. They selected a good fresh bag of carrots. You know how sometimes you go to the store, there's like a few bags that have like that slimy sludge built up in the corner. Um, so this doesn't look like it's got any issues going on. Looks like a good pack of carrots. Probably something I would have picked up off the shelf myself. I also ordered a bag of celery hearts. And these look to be pretty good and fresh as well. They're not looking dry. They're not looking slimy. Nothing discolored. Again, something I would pick up off the shelf myself. Um, I know this is weird unpacking groceries on my couch, but I get more natural lighting in this room than I do in my kitchen, so I'm just gonna do it right here for you guys real quick. Um, I've got some ground turkey. Packaging is good and intact. Um, every once in a while you go to the grocery store and you see something that looks like the wrap has been like started to peel off or something. So I was a little bit nervous that I'd get something that had like a puncture hole in it or something, but this looks good. Um, I also ordered some ground beef. I'm gonna be making some sloppy joes, so when I make sloppy joes, I mix ground turkey and ground beef, and I also dice up veggies super small and hide them in there because my boyfriend doesn't like to eat vegetables, so I sneak them to him. Um, but three pounds of ground beef, one pound of turkey, there should be plenty to last a while. Um, good color on the ground beef. Everything looks good. Uh, for the stew that I'm making tonight, I ordered some stew meat and it actually looks like pretty decent stew meat. None of that super gnarly, fatty, gristly stuff like you see sometimes. Um, so again, this is like the kind of meat that I probably would have picked out myself um, over in the meat department. I ordered some zucchini. These guys have a few little tiny scuffs on them. Um, I am kind of picky and finicky and a little bit OCD about some stuff, so maybe I would have picked some different zucchinis, but who knows what their selection was like. There's another little scuff on that one. Um, but you know what, other than that, they're fresh. There's no like mushy, bruised feeling spots on them. Um, they seem perfectly ripe, ready to eat. I, I don't really have too big of an issue with it. I can, I can cut off those little stuff spots, okay? Um, then I ordered some grapes. I was a little bit nervous about these because I like my grapes to be like super firm and crisp. When I go buy grapes for myself, I always like squeeze a couple of them to make sure that they're super firm. I don't like there to be any squish to my grapes. And these are all actually super firm, so I'm impressed with this. There was a spot online to like say specifics about what you were ordering. Like you could say, please make sure that you give me green bananas. Please make sure that my peaches are perfectly ripe. Um, so you could give them instructions to let them know exactly what your taste was, what your preference was. This is something I was kind of excited about. I probably wouldn't have bought it in the store, but siren, stop. But I saw them online. Um, these are called Moondrops Grapes. 
and it was just some really weird shape of grape that I've never seen before. So it's actually got like a drop shape to it. Let me see if I can get this out of here and show you guys. So there are these like super long drop shape grapes. And it's kind of a more exotic item. I know that they're only available a certain time of the year. It was like a really small window when these are available. I did a little bit of research on them online when I saw that they were at the store. And I figured, you know what? I will give it a try. These seem a little like more <laughs> withered and wilted than what I would purchase. So if I saw these at the store, I don't think I would have bought them. Um, but you know, it might have been the only thing that they had to select from seeing as these are more of an exotic, only available drink, set it only available during certain time kind of fruit. Um, I'll give them a try. I'm just really not looking forward to them. They look like they're on the verge of becoming moon drop raisins. Um, but other than those weird exotic grapes, which I kind of didn't expect to be great quality coming from Kroger anyway, I'm pretty impressed with everything. Um, the service was quick and simple and easy. It didn't cost me anything. My first three orders are free pickup. Um, after that, they start charging you, I think it was $4.95, but I did see that they have coupons available usually every week if you purchase a certain item with your pickup order then your fee is waived. So maybe I can avoid the fee by purchasing some certain items. Um, anyway, it was a quick and simple and easy experience. I'll probably do it again. Um, gotta go make a stew, guys. See you later.